addition using number bonds by learning ready. Today in school, my teacher, Mrs. Foster, taught us how to find missing numbers in an addition problem using number bonds. Mrs. Foster said that the biggest number in the bond represents the answer in addition problems. And it is the number to subtract from in subtraction problems when trying to find a missing part. For homework, Mrs. Foster assigned us number bond problems. In the first problem there is the number 8 as the whole number and 4 is one of the parts. We need to find out what number can be added to 4 that will equal 8. So the strategy I'm going to use is counting on. If I start with the number 4 which is the part we are already given, I will continue to count until I reach 8. So it's 4. 8. So it's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now I have my answer. When I add 4 to the 4 that I already had, my answer equaled 8. Wow! I might be a genius. In the next problem, we have 20 as the whole and 8 as a part. Again, I'm going to count on. My answer is 12. 8 plus 12 equals 20. I'll keep practicing. I hope you will, too. Thanks for watching.